MMAviking.com here with the champ, Mike Thomas Brown. Welcome to Sweden. How are you doing? I'm doing well, doing well. Yeah, when did you get into town? I just got in a couple hours ago. I was, just came from, uh, I was at UFC 178 Vegas, home for one day. Um, drove to Miami for, for a day to pick up Brad Pickett, dropped him off at my house, and then off to Sweden. You trust Brad Pickett to be in your house? Only for a few days, only for only a few days, days, yeah. You don't have any security cameras or anything you can keep an eye on him? The guard dogs, I got on him, guard dogs. Guard dog. yeah. What surprised us when he was in Sweden last year, he always wore these pink sweatpants. Did you have a, a pair like that, or, you, or is your fashion a little more sensible? Uh, then Brad, I'd say it's more sensible. Uh, pink sweatpants, I don't even remember his pink sweatpants. but He open wore them to open workout, and that was, I thought he was feeling so confident. A guy like that can't lose. Yeah, he's not, he's not afraid to wear anything. That's for sure. <laughs> Great. Well, we wanted to check in with you. I, I know Sir Juan Kakai has been training with you for a while, and we see him in videos with you, and he's about to get back in the cage. Can you just talk about just your background with uh, Sir Juan and how you see his skills? Oh uh, yeah, uh, Sir Juan's a friend of mine. But I've been training with him for for a long time now, and uh, very very talented fighter, uh, both on the ground, standing up, very focused, and uh, you know he's he's definitely ready for the highest level of competition. Um, you know, there's no reason why I, I think he's not in the UFC now. It's one of those uh, shows in the U.S. that I know is on te television, so he's going to get some good TV exposure in America, and uh, I think that's good because he's exciting and everyone's going to like to watch. There's been some debate about him, and he's never really been manhandled or a need to see him drop, but there's been talk about him maybe even making 125s. Do you, when you size him up and look at other guys in the gym, do you think that's something that's necessary or uh, any change that might be down in the future? You know, he can, I think he can make it, but he's going to be like, I mean, that's going to be his total focus. He's going to be like, thinking about his diet 24-7, really concentrating on that, getting his weight down. But I've seen him hang in with, like, tough 155ers in the gym. Like, guys that are in the UFC now, 155 pounders, him doing very well, you know, against. So he's talented, man. He can, he can fight at any weight. But I think there's more opportunity at 25. And I think if, you know, if you want, you know, if he's looking to be champion and, and get in there the quickest and, and things like that, I mean, that, that's the most optimal weight. But it's one of those things you, your life is going to suffer a bit because he, he's a big he's a he's a big 25er you know so he'll uh, you know he, he won't enjoy himself making that weight but if he does you know he, he'd be a huge threat. Great. Well, uh, thanks for your time. Just wanted to catch up with you on the local guys training down in Florida with you and uh, always good to see you, Mike. Right on. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks. Now,